Today on Parker's Reefs, part one of the ICP test Battle Royale. Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Um, as discussed in the intro, um, I thought I'd do part one of um, a ICP showdown. Um, thankfully now in Australia, ICP testing of our aquariums are becoming a um, pretty big thing. And um, for a couple of years, there was really only this guy in the middle here, Triton out of um, Germany that was um, accessible to us. And uh, now we've got a bunch of options. So we've got uh, Triton out of Germany. We've got uh, a Marine Lab out of Poland. We've got um, ATI, which I assume is out of Germany. Yeah, it is. Um, and ooh, the new player in the markets, the Australian one, Quantum. Um, now that we've got so many options with um, ICP, I thought it would be, and I started seeing some, some questions online about people asking which one's the best and what the difference is and whatnot. I'm just gonna sit that down. Um, so I thought what a perfect opportunity to do a video on it. I'll grab a, a single sample of water, which I've got on a jug over here, just so there's no questions about whether I grabbed a bit of water just after a dose or something like that. Here's my um, liter of water that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna fill up all four of these uh, ICPs and um, send them all off at the same time. We'll do comparisons over what results they test for or what, what parameters they test for, what results we get, um, how much they cost, how long they take, um, whether their yeah, results are the same or whether there's some had a couple of um, obscure results, um, whatnot, and go from there. So um, yeah, this is part one. I've basically um, got each of these test kits here. Um, ATI, um, I got out of uh, Darren from uh, Reef Secrets. I should also point out at this point of video that um, I paid for every single one of these test kits. No one gave me anything, um, not that I asked for anything, I never asked for free things, but um, it, yeah, there's, there's a completely unbiased review because um, yeah, I've spent a few dollars on these tests, so I want to get good results just as much as you do. So um, ATI is yeah, sold by Reef Secrets in uh, Queensland. Uh, I think the kit's 60 bucks. Um, depending where you are, you may need to get it posted to you. I'm not going to include the, those costs because that's that's not fair. If you're local to Roof Secrets, you're not going to pay postage um, to you. You obviously will pay postage to Germany. So <clears throat> ATI comes with uh, three vials for salt water, one vial for RO, um, a postage label, and some uh, German instructions. <laughs> Um, I won't have to hit Google Translate with these because thankfully it was pretty straightforward. Um, the one that's RO water neatly has written on it that it's RO water. And the other three are all salt water. They've got barcodes pre-applied to the um, to the vials. Um, even the pretty pictures are uh, enough for uh, me to work out the story. You gotta register an account, which I've done. You gotta fill up your water. You gotta put the barcode in. You post all four of them, the three salt water and one RO to um, the address they give you. So yeah, we'll fill that one up shortly. <clears throat> I'll sit them aside. Next up is uh, Marine Lab, uh, commonly known for, uh, as from the company of uh, Aquaforest um, in Poland. I've been meaning to do one of these test kits for ages because um, uh, I really like that, um, yeah, this is done by aquarists um, actually at their um, coral farm. So I have high expectations for this. Hopefully they don't let me down. Um, so this one comes with uh, two um, test tubes. Uh, one for salt water, one for RO. I should actually check the color. I'm going to assume the red's RO. It will tell me in here. Yes, red is RO, blue is salt water. You get some instructions in various languages, including German, English, French, and Polish. Uh, basically, you fill up the samples, register the address of the, the barcode sample, which I've already done on their website, uh, post it to their address, and you get your results online. Similar sort of process they will follow. Again, you get a postage uh, address label thing. I'm not sure if that'll work actually when I take it to the post office. Being an international post, I'll have to fill out a customs form and stuff. But um, we'll get to that one soon enough. <clears throat> then the uh, industry benchmark. This is uh, the Triton Lab ICP OES. Um, not to be confused with Triton's latest edition, which is their organics test. This is their original test. Um, I've done probably nearly a dozen of these now, so I, I know my way around them pretty well. Even though it's a German <coughs> test, and here comes my dog. <laughs> Um, you actually post these to Cairns Marine in Queensland. Um, you get two vials. You fill them both up with salt water. There is no RO um, with this test. Yeah, so you get two vials, both for salt water. No testing of your RO with Triton. 
Um, you get uh, some barcodes that you need to register on their website. You have to apply those barcodes to the test tubes yourself and then send them to um, Cairns Marine. Easy enough. Thankfully, no customs forms um, or uh, expensive postage because you're sending it to somewhere in Australia. <coughs> and uh, then speaking of Australia, this is the new player in the market, the uh, Quantum Advanced ICP OES Water Analysis. Um, this is the Australian um, offering from the guys out of Sydney. Um, it's a pretty comprehensive little kit. It's in a neat little cylinder, which looks cool. I must admit, it is a little tricky to get some of the stuff out, but it's starting to get a bit picky, I guess. The instructions in particular are a little difficult, but I can probably leave them in there because I can tell you what you need to do. Uh, let's get it out. All right, <clears throat> put that aside. <coughs> Excuse me, the first thing you, you notice with this kit is you get two little, um, it's gonna be hard to see there, but I'll, I'll, I'll get some footage of them um, out of the packet. They're little, uh, I forgot what they're called, eye droppers or whatever they are. They basically get water samples, so you don't have to put your hands in the tank. Um, nice little quality check there. Uh, you get two vials, uh, both the same color, but uh, you put a label on them to say one's RODI and one's aquarium. Um, yeah, their instructions here basically say, uh, you're gonna say whether it's a one-off test or whether you wanna do this uh, frequently, which I'm not sure what that's gonna be used for. Maybe they're gonna send you out another kit or something, I'm not sure. And you say what kind of tank you got, um, and then you have to include this because this has the barcode number on there. You register it on their site, but uh, the barcode number doesn't actually end up on the vials, so it's important that you don't lose or damage this. Um, there are two of them, so hopefully they'll be safe in there. Hopefully the vials don't leak or anything and it doesn't, um, doesn't uh, wreck that there. But um, if I had some feedback, I'd probably look at maybe getting these barcodes on the, on the vials or something if possible. I like the addition of the eyedroppers. I'm not a big fan of the uh, barcode number just on plain paper. But... Same sort of deal, fill them out, register online, send it um, off. Thankfully, these ones also you send to Australia, so these go to Sydney. Um, we'll make postage and time frames a bit quicker. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're at the point now where I've registered um, on each of these four websites. Um, I've got all the details in, I've got the barcodes registered. All I need to do now is fill up the vials, um, take them to the post office tomorrow. I'll take note of how much it costs uh, to send each one because we've got uh, one going to Sydney, one going to Cairns, I'll be the same price because I'll send them express. Um, one going to Poland and one going to Germany. So um, I'll make note of all those costs and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, obviously, if you want to see the um, the outcomes of this, be sure to subscribe um, so you don't miss the part two of this video. I'd love to tell you exactly when that's going to be, but it wholeheartedly relies on uh, when the fourth and final test comes back. I'm assuming the Aussie one will come back pretty quick. Um, maybe some of the international ones will take a couple of weeks. We'll have to see. But uh, Hopefully within a month, I'll put part two of this video up and we can compare the results, costs, timeframes, and um, let you make your own opinion on what is the best ICP available in Australia. Thanks for watching. Cheers.